design an ideal band resin to filter with a desired frequency response Inside frequency response, H D of e power G omega is equal to D of e power G omega is equal to one. For mark omega less than or equal to pi by three, and mark omega. Less, uh, greater than or equal to two pi by three. Okay. This is equal to zero. Otherwise, find the values of. Find the values of h of n, where n is equal to eleven. To start, find h of z subplot the magnitude response. The magnitude response. Plot the magnitude response. Yes. See, please, all of you, start doing it. Uh, you have to use using using response using rectangular window. Rectangular window. Yes. So, using rectangular window, you need to design the ideal band reset filter. Please take the solution. Please do all of you the calculations. Then we can complete uh, within this class the problem. So, first we'll note down what is the given. Given H G of e power G omega in a graphical way. Omega this is zero. Here uh, magnitude is magnitude is equal to one. One for Omega less than or equal to pi by three. Say this is pi by three. Pi by three. Uh, pi by three is sixty degrees. This is two pi by three, one twenty degrees. This is next one eighty degrees pi. Similar way, this side minus pi by three, minus two pi by three, and minus pi. Now. From minus pi to pi range, we have pi by three to pi by three. Omega less than or equal to pi by three means from pi by three to pi by three, we have which is equal to one. Next, from two pi by three, I mean about two pi by three. When omega is greater than two by by three, we, it is equal to one. Similar way here also, from minus pi to minus two pi by three, it is equal to one. So in the middle, from pi by three to two pi by three, it is resecting. This is a band resecting filter. Okay. Now we need to design this 
band reject filter. Now we will see first uh, what is the procedure. We have HD of E power T omega. From this, we need to find out HD of N. From this, we need to calculate H of N, that is HD of N into the window. And after finding H of N, we need to find out H of Z. Then physically realizable or causal filter. From this H of N and N value, we need to calculate H cap of E power G omega. So from that magnitude response. So this is the procedure. We will see one by one now. First to HD of N. How to calculate HD of N? That is a formula. 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi minus pi to pi hd of v e power j omega into e power minus j omega into d omega. Now split up this integral 1 by 2 pi one by two pi Omega n d omega plus integral minus pi by three to sorry we have how many integrals three integrals one two three integrals so minus pi by three to pi by three one into e power minus j omega n d omega plus one more integral from two pi by three to Pi. 1 into e power minus j omega and d omega. Okay. Now you please calculate all these integrals and tell me the value. Simplified version. Please all of you do it. All of you do it and tell me. I'll give one minute time. Please do this simplification and tell me the answer. Finish your completed? Sir, doing sir. Okay, thank you.
answer J2. Tell me. Minus 1 by 2 pi J omega. Omega now. N, sir, N, sir. N. J2 sin 2 pi by 3 N, sir. Minus J2 sin pi N. That's it? Sir, uh, one more term is there, sir. I got uh, e power minus j pi by 3n minus e power j pi by 3n. Then it is uh, sine only now again. Yes, sir. Uh, then tell me. Uh, minus j2 sine pi by 3n, sir. Here it is minus or plus. Plus only, sir. Okay. Oh. Then this 2z everywhere, 2z, this 2 cancel. So minus will apply inside. Then this, this plus, this is minus. So sine pi n, 1 by pi n, plus sine pi by 3 n, minus sine 2 pi by 3 n. Dirisha, are you sure this is plus only here? Yes, sir. Because everything is here plus and only this one is minus. Maybe it is correct, I don't know. If it is correct, okay, leave it. Sir, can you check one, sir? Yeah, please check. Priyanka, are you there? Yes, sir. Priyanka, are you got same thing? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Then fine. If it is same, no issue. Then we will calculate uh, 11 samples from this. Right. This is HD of N. Now from this, we will calculate 11 samples. For N is equal to 11 and symmetric. H of 0 is equal to H of 0 that is equal to how much? Apply the limit theorem and tell me what is the value. Two by three, sir. Sorry. Two by three. By three means zero point six six seven. Huh? Okay, next which of one.
All these are HD values of because H of n is equal to H of HD of n into window W or of n. So H of two zero point two seven five sir. Sir, I got H of three zeros. H of three zeros. H of four. Sir, H of four minus zero point one three seven. One three four, ah. Huh? Seven, sir. One three seven. Next, last one. This is your five.
सर जीरो सर मल्टीप्लाइड विथ रेक्टेंगुलर विंडो ओनली this duration remaining value is gone zero so we can tell this into this is equal to h d of n because w r of n is equal to zero only therefore i can write directly this h of zero is equal to 0.667 h of n uh, h of 1 is equal to zero h of 2 is equal to 0.275 H of three is zero. H of four is minus zero point one three seven. H of minus five is equal to zero. Right? Guys, understood this H of n calculation? So we have completed H D of n calculation. Then H of n calculation. Now we need to find out h of z. So by this uh, coefficients, we will calculate h of z. Since h of z formula is the z transform formula, n is equal to minus phi two. Sorry, directly we have the formula now. H of zero plus summation. n is equal to one to five h of n into z power n plus z power minus n. Okay. Now this is equal to h of zero plus h of one into z plus z power minus one plus h of two into H square plus H power minus two plus H of three into H power H uh, cube plus H power minus three plus H of four into H power four plus H power minus four plus H of five into H power five plus H power minus five. Now we substitute the values here. What are zeros? H of one, H of three, H of five are zeros. This is zero, this is zero, and this is zero. So we have only remaining three terms. H of zero is equal to zero point six six seven. Then H of two value is H of two value zero point two seven five plus H of zero point two seven five into Z square plus Z power minus two. Next, uh, this one is minus zero point one three seven. Zero point one three seven into Z power four plus Z power minus four. This is equal to. Uh, this is a. This is non-causal filter. This is non-causal filter. Which is not physically realizable. Therefore, the Gaussian filter is given by Gaussian filter H dash of Z is equal to Z power minus five into into 
H of Z. Okay. Now this is equal to Z power minus 5 into 0 0.667 plus 0 0.275 into Z square plus Z power minus 2 minus 0 0.137 into z power 4 plus z power minus 4. This is equal to, if we multiply this, 0 0.667 z power minus 5. This is 0 0.275 z power minus 3 plus 0 0.275 z power minus 7 plus, sorry, minus minus 0 0.137 z power minus 1 uh, minus 0 0.137 137 z power minus 9 okay. now we will reorder first z power minus 1 term there is no constant term okay no constant so here it is therefore h dash of z is equal to minus 0 0.137 z power minus 1 over next z power minus 3 0 0.275 plus 0 0.275 z power minus 3 then 0 0.667 z power minus 5 then minus 7, 0 0.257 plus 0 0.257 z power minus 7 minus 0 0.137 z power minus 9. Okay, therefore, h of 0 is equal to h of 0 is equal to what? h of 1, h of 2, h of 3, h of 4, then h of 5, h of 6, h of 7, h of 8, h of 9, h of 10 is equal to. See what? h of 0 value, here z power 0, nothing is there, so it is 0. In other way, h of 10 also not there. Then h of 1 and h of 9, h of 1 and h of 9, both are same positions, minus 0 0.137, then h of 8, h of 8 is 0, h of 3, h of 3 0 0.275, same is what well, h of 4 minus 7 also, then h of 4 0, h of 5 is 0 0.667, right? These are the positions. So, causal filter is this. H of n values we have found for n is equal to 11. Done. The next step is magnitude response. Here, since H of n is symmetric, symmetric about alpha is equal to n minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 5 center of symmetry and n is odd n is odd that is 11 we have magnitude response h kappa of e power j omega is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to 5 a of n plus omega n. Okay, here a of 0 is equal to where a of 0 is equal to h of n minus 1 by 2, that is h of 5, that is here 0 0.667. Next to a of n is equal to 2 into h of n minus 1 by 2 minus n 
This is for n is equal to one, two, three, four, and five. Therefore, a of one is equal to two into h of five minus one. That is two into h of one. Since h of one is zero, this value is zero. Next to a of two, a of two is equal to two into h of five minus two. This is two into h of three. H of three value also zero. Sorry, we get five h of okay four four. H of four value is not zero, right? No zero only. H of four zero. Next h of three. H of three is zero point two seven. Zero point two seven five. Then a of three is equal to two into h of five minus three. That is equal to two into h of two. This is equal to sorry. This is into two. This is equal to zero point zero five 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 point five. Zero point five five. Then here it is two into h of two value zero. I think no, h of two value zero. Correct only. So it is zero. Then a of four. A of four is two into h of y minus four. This is equal to two into h of one. This is equal to h of one is minus zero point one three seven. This is equal to minus zero point. This is four seven two. And last, a of five is equal to into h of five minus five. Two into h of zero. This is equal to zero because h of zero value is zero. Correct. Now we have a of zero to a of five values. Now we will substitute in the Magnitude equation. Therefore, we have. Therefore, h cap of e power j omega is equal to a of zero is equal to zero zero point six six seven into cos omega zero. This one. Next value is a of one is zero. Leave it. A of two. Plus zero point five five cos two omega next to a three zero a four minus zero point two seven four minus zero point two seven four cos four omega then a of five zero that's it. only three three terms now we will. Make a table. Make a table and find the values. Find the values. So omega versus h cap of e power g omega. That is model. Yes. Tell me. Omega is equal to zero degrees. Um, sixty degrees, one twenty degrees. Maybe this is very far. Okay, at least you find the sixty degrees, one twenty degrees, and one eighty degrees. You need to take more values. At least you tell me these values. Sinisha, are you there? Priya. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Please, at least you tell me these four values. Then we'll draw a rough plot at least. Okay, sir. Sir, zero point nine four three. Sir, zero degrees. We calculate all. Uh, tell me at the time. Same. Okay. Make it. Sure.
Yes, answer. Sir, zero point nine four three. Zero point zero point nine four three. Zero point five two nine. Five two. Nine sir. Zero point five two nine. Again zero point five two nine. Zero point nine four three sir. Right. Okay. Now we will see this. It is one suppose it is one. So it is here very close to one. Then. This is zero point five. So sixty degrees. It is very close to zero point one. Just above that, right? Next value is same. Next value is zero point again same here. Okay. So we draw these lines. Let me show you. Like this. I think still, if you calculate in the middle, you may get uh, we are like this only. Maybe. What is it? Forty-five degrees. Sorry, uh, above sixty, above sixty and below ninety degrees. You tell me. Ninety degrees. Sorry. Minus zero point one five seven. Minus. Are you sure? Degrees. Zero point. Five zero point one five seven. One five seven minus or plus. Minus. Minus it is magnitude. No, we should take plus only. Yes, so it is zero point one five seven. Means it will come here in the middle. Therefore, this plot will be. Will be like this to come. Maybe it is very close. Then it will go like this. So this is showing the band resector. Band resector meter. So it is from sixty pi by three to two pi by three. It is resecting from this point to this point. And above this value, it is going again to axis level. This is the magnitude response of the given ideal band resector filter characteristic. 